This is a message for parents. Have you had the shrunken heads talk with your child? Do you want your son or daughter to learn about shrunken heads from their friends? Or worse, the media? No, I don't think so. Use the tools in this video and open the dialogue today. I saw my first shrunken heads in the Pitt Rivers Museum in Oxford. Of the museum's 10 shrunken heads, two are monkey, two are sloth, three are fake human heads, and three are actual real human heads. Now, the question of whether human remains, especially from other cultures, should even be in Western museums is a whole nother kettle of gray area. That's not the metaphor that I'll talk about another time. But for now, they're there. The ones they have on display are from South America, the upper region of the Amazon between Ecuador and Peru, which is the primary region that head shrinking has been documented. The tribes that participated called the shrunken heads Sansa. Sansa? Like anything else terrible needs to happen to that girl. Contrary to what you might be thinking about bloody warfare and destruction of enemies, the tribes that participated actually lived in relative peace with one another. They went on raids specifically to obtain these Sansa, these heads, because they were thought to have incredible power, which you could bring home and disperse among your tribe. But the real reason you're here, don't lie to me, is to find out how they did it. How did they shrink the skull down so teeny tiny? Well, they didn't. Ah! After the person was first decapitated, the flesh from the neck up was removed and the skull disposed of separately. What was left was, imagine like a rubber Halloween mask. Then the eyes, the mouth, and neck incisions were sewn shut. Next, the skull was placed in a pot with tannins, which preserve skin, and left to simmer over the fire for about a half an hour to an hour. Lastly, they used the scalp as a bag, first to put hot stones in, and when it got too small for that, hot sand, until it finally shrunk down to about a quarter of the size of a regular human head. At that point, the exterior skin was further seared with hot scones, sc scones, stones, stones, Ooh, skins, skins in the face, and shaped and left to dry and harden for about a week. Here's the real crazy part and why I wanted to make this video. Cut to the late 19th century and wealthy Europeans and Americans decide they wanna get their hands on these shrunken curiosities. Oh, Mildred, how positively macabre. The heads started showing up in museums, shops, and homes all over Europe. The Europeans wanted shrunken heads to impress their friends, and the South Americans wanted European guns and knives. So the whole thing basically became a guns for heads program. You give me one head, you get one gun. The more guns that went down there, the easier it was to kill a lot of people at once and thus send more heads back to Europe. Raiding for the Sansa lost all of its religious and cultural meaning and basically just became a scramble to get enough heads for export and for tourists. This system allowed the Europeans and Americans to maintain the complete delusion that they were just collecting evidence of the savage and barbaric ways of these tribes. They got to live out their twisted fantasy of savagery in foreign lands while removing the blame from themselves for having created it. Good thing white people only pulled something like that that one time. <laughs> Am I right? No? Wasn't just that? one time. Not surprisingly, trade in fake shrunken human heads rose up to meet the demand, and it's estimated that 80% of surviving shrunken heads, even the ones in museums, are actually fakes. Real heads are just as likely to have been stolen from unclaimed bodies in the morgue, or to be monkey or sloth. So that means maybe your bro Phil, who says he bought a real shrunken head off eBay, maybe didn't. Ask a Mortician is brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you. Quick shout out to this book, which started me on my journey to learn more about this. It's really great, February favorite. Uh, severed heads of all kinds. Doesn't discriminate. 
chopped off heads for everyone. How positively macabre.